Korea has become the chosen destination for a growing number of medical tourists. The number of foreigners who came to the nation last year for the purposes of medical procedures broke the 200,000 mark for the first time ever. And the Korean government is uh, doing more to even further boost the booming industry. Well, our Yudian joins us live in the studio to tell us more on the emerging trend. So, Lian, uh, it's, it's now legal for hospitals to own hotels and even tourism agencies. You're right, and that's expected to boost the already surge in foreign patients. So what's the main reason behind the surge? Uh, is it a no-brainer? <laughs> well, basically, Korea provides high-quality service at cheaper prices. You might be surprised to find out that Korea is actually ranked in fourth place in terms of medical service in the OECD. And if you take a look at the five-year survival rate of all cancers, the Korean's rate is higher than countries like Japan or the United States. Now, as for the cost, let's take cesarean section. Uh, for example, in Korea, the procedure costs one-tenth of what it does in the United States. The recent boom in medical tourism in Korea follows in step with a general global trend uh, with the market's value jumping two and a half times over the past eight years. Well, uh, Korea is uh, renowned for being uh, the mecca of uh, cosmetic surgery, right? And uh, is that still the biggest reason why foreign patients are coming to Korea? Well, plastic surgery still remains a main draw, but the types of surgeries that foreigners actually seek out when they come to Korea is actually more varied than you might think. A plastic surgery only takes up about 13 percent of all medical treatments for foreigners in Korea. Uh, internal medicine and family medicine are, are actually quite popular as well. But as you mentioned, plastic surgery is still the most well-known service. Uh, but there are efforts underway to spread the wealth. Take a look. The Zikoksana is on vacation from Ukraine and has decided to spend a few days taking part in a special medical tour program. Before coming here, I knew that Koreans cared a lot about their looks, so I wanted to experience Korea's medical cosmetic service. Her tour package begins at an oriental medicine clinic, where she undergoes a special treatment to improve skin elasticity. It's then off to a health center that specializes in endoscopy procedures. For the whole district of Gangnam, the medical tour program is merely the beginning of bigger plans. In the future, we're going to combine medical services and tourist destinations into one package. The efforts come as no surprise. Since 2009, when the central government made it legal for hospitals to accept foreign patients, there's been a boom with an average yearly growth rate of 37 percent. While foreigners enjoy a wider assortment of medical services, plastic surgery still remains the biggest draw. For that, the most popular destination is Gangnam, home to nearly half of the country's plastic surgery clinics. Riding the wave, plastic surgery clinics are investing more in overseas advertisement. This plastic surgery clinic has what it calls a Chinese coordinator. I work on advertisements on Chinese portal sites like Paidu and Weibo, and also work on the Chinese version of the clinic's homepage. Doctors here say interest in Korean cosmetic trends has spiked thanks to a greater social media presence. Nowadays, foreigners keep up to date on the popular cosmetic surgeries in Korea through TV programs or the Internet. So the types of surgeries they are seeking are becoming more diverse. Looks like Gangnam Style did a part in helping promote Korea's uh, medical tourism. Probably. Well, in terms of ranking, uh, where do Korea exactly stand? Has OECD been kind to us this time for a change? Well, well, Korea is off to a nice start, but uh, it still has a long way to go if it wants to catch up to countries like India, Thailand and Singapore, which do take up about 90 percent of uh, Asia's total medical tourism market. And while Korea is ranked in fourth place in terms of medical service, like I mentioned earlier, if you factor in things like human resources or growth potential, the ranking actually drops to 19th in the OECD. And experts say the government simply needs to do more to push for medical tourism. There needs to be a government-backed control tower specifically overseeing medical tourism. Right now, the support for medical tourism is scattered among different ministries and state-run institutes. 
Now, he did add that the recent bill that allows hospitals to build uh, travel agencies or hotels will provide them the chance to garner up capital to enter markets overseas. And also, the Korea Chamber of Commerce and Industry said this week that the government needs to lift regulations so that investments could be more freely made on hospitals. Well, you know, we have seen remarkable growth in this industry over the past decade or so. And, and in an age which health matters are of growing concern among many, I think it makes sense that the government go to that uh, considerable length to attract more of these medical visitors. Well, Leanne, thank you so much for joining us and providing with this comprehensive report. No problem.